Alright, welcome back. Um, we were just about to finish this problem. We got up to the point where we said the change in the total head um, is that total energy head of 2 minus the total energy head of 1, and that's equal to our pump head, right? And at point 2, we have a velocity, we have a pressure, and we have a height. And at point 1, we also have a velocity, we have a pressure, and a height. But if you can see, there's no major change in elevation. So we can actually say, um, we can actually say H2 is equal to H1, right? And if that's true, well, H2 minus H1, that's just zero, so these terms just cancel out. Now, we can rewrite this a little bit. We can combine the velocity terms. We can say, okay, V2 squared minus V1 squared over 2G. Okay, well, that's, that's um, this term and this term. Plus pressure 2 minus pressure 1 over the specific weight of water. And then, of course, we had 0, and that's equal to um, the pump head. Right? And that's what we're trying to find to find our power. Now, our velocity 2, we figured out up here, was 22.4. So we can say 22.4 squared minus velocity 1. Well, that was 2.49. So 2.49 squared over 2 times gravity. In this case, it's 9.81. Oops, can't see that. And then plus the pressure at 2 minus the pressure at 1. Now, up here, we have pressures in terms of kilopascals. 120 kilopascals and 400 kilopascals. And we can change kilopascals to pascals by multiplying this term and this term by um, 1,000. Yes, a thousand. That's one kilo. So the pressure at two, the pressure at two is 400, which is 400,000 minus the pressure at one, which is 120,000, 120,000 pascals over the specific weight of water, which we found up here to be 9,800 newtons per meter cubed, so 9,800. And all of this is equal to the pump head, right? So, if we solved, and this is just algebra, right? If we solved for the pump head, we would get um, HP is about 53.83 meters, and and remember, pump, any um, device transfer heads are always in units of length, right? So this is our pump head. And remember, the question was asking, um, what power in kilowatts is delivered to the water by this pump? And in order to find the power, we needed the pump head, we needed the specific weight of water, and we needed the volumetric flow rate, and we had these two, right? Now we know what um, HP is, right? We know our pump head. It's 58, it's 58.38. So let's find the power. We just plug it in using this formula. Gamma Q, right? And that's equal to 53.83 times 9,800 times Q, which we found up here to be this, this very small number. Um, which is 0 0.015833. And if we solve that out, we get about 8,352 watts. And to convert that into kilowatts, we just, we just uh, divide by 1,000. Right, 
and that'll give us um, 8.35 kilowatts. Okay, so that's that's the power in kilowatts uh, delivered to the water by the pump. So in conclusion, there's really only two formulas we need to know for these energy problems. We need to know. Um, you know use this piece of paper. We need to know the power of a, of a pump or a turbine or whatever other device is equal to the device transfer head. So in, in our case it was only the pump times uh, the specific weight of the fluid we're studying times the volumetric flow rate. And we also need to know that the change in total energy head is equal um, the change in the total energy head is equal to the summation of all the pump heads minus the summation of all the turbine heads minus any other losses due to friction. Okay, and these are the two formulas we'll be using uh, for a while.